Thanks for tuning in another share on this channel. Before I continue, I urge you to support this channel, by hitting that subscribe button, and that thumbs up signal. Join the conversation by leaving a comment in the comment section below. So, let's dig into today's topic. Tourism in the Caribbean The Caribbean is located mostly within the tropics. I suggest mostly in the tropics as some islands hinges on the periphery of temperate climatic zone. I will share more on that in subsequent video share. Tourism is the primary economic driver for several countries located throughout the Caribbean. What is meant by tourism? Tourism envelopes the total package involving tourist visitation to their expected destination. Tourism is a social cultural and economic phenomenon which entails the movement of people to countries or places outside their usual environment for personal or business, professional purposes. So who is a tourist? A tourist refers to anyone traveling beyond their permanent dwelling to reside within a different geographical boundary, for more than 24 hours but less than 12 months. Let's look at the different types of tourism, domestic tourism. This refers to the taking of holidays and trips in your own country. An example of domestic tourism for UK residents would be, a family from Birmingham in the Midlands taking a short break to the seaside resort of Blackpool. In addition to domestic tourism, there is regional tourism. A regional tourist is a tourist visiting a region or province other than in which she, he has a normal residence but with a defined geographic region. Example traveling from Jamaica to spend a vacation in Trinidad for a weekend. Let's look at who is an international tourist or what is meant by international tourism. International tourism is tourism that crosses national borders. He World Tourism Organization defines tourists as people traveling to and staying in places outside their usual environment for not more than one consecutive year for leisure, business and other purposes. Let's look quickly at the different types of tourists which may visit our country. Let's start with, leisure and recreation, this includes holidays, sports and cultural tourism, and visiting friends and relatives. These people travel for pleasure. Lately the leisure tourism has emerged strongly owing to changes in lifestyle, consumption pattern of people, growing leisure needs to distress and rejuvenates. Leisure travel may be done for holidays, sports education projects, school trips, family outings, weekend gateways, to name a few. Other types of tourist and tourism, this includes the study in health tourism. While the tourist visa will not allow the holder to join a course of study, the holder of a student visa can travel the country and enjoy the sightseeing and meeting. Educational tourism is developed because of the growing popularity of teaching and learning of knowledge and the enhancing of technical competency outside of the classroom environment. In educational tourism, the main focus of the tour or leisure activity includes visiting another country to learn about the culture, study tours, or to work and apply skills learned inside the classroom in a different environment, such as in the international practicum training program. Health tourism is a wider term for travel that focuses on medical treatments and the use of healthcare services. It covers a wide field of health-oriented tourism ranging from preventive and health-conductive treatment to rehabilitation and curative forms of travel. Wellness tourism is a related field. This includes meetings, conferences, missions, incentives, and business tourism. These people travel to meet their work-related needs like to attend business conventions, meetings, conferences or to meet any purpose which is incidental to the work requirements. Business tourism involves traveling to a destination away from home or a normal workplace. It is a type of travel for professional purposes rather than personal. Some types of business tourism are incentive travel, exhibitions and trade fairs, conferences and meetings, and corporate events. There are many other ways to classify tourists. These range from simple demographic and trip classifications, through to their lifestyles and personalities, to their perception of risk and familiarity and postmodern interpretations of consumers and commodities. However, one approach with increasing relevance to contemporary tourism is to classify tourists according to their level and type of interaction with the destination. We can also distinguish many types of tourism as heritage cultural, urban, rural, eco and nature-based tourism. I will discuss in detail, the benefits of tourism to the Caribbean region, 
how tourism impacts the region negatively and what steps are taken to manage tourism growth throughout the Caribbean.